boxing scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears it, the black with red, white, and blue, the flag of Puerto Rico. He weighed in at already 134.6 pounds. His professional record, six victories against 12 defeats. He has one bout even. From the Bronx, New York, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jose El Palito Guzman. Guzman. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He wears black with neon. He weighed in at a ready 135 pounds. His professional record, six victories, only one defeat. He has one win coming by way of knockout. From Huntington, New York, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny the Hitman Hernandez. Hernandez. All right, fighters, you've been given your instructions in your testing room, okay? Respect the sport, respect the rules, and show respect for each other. Keep it clean. Touch gloves, come out of the bell fighting. Here we go, lightweight bout, scheduled for six round. Johnny Hernandez in the black trunks with the yellow trim and the multicolored trunks, a southpaw. Jose Guzman out of the Bronx. And Jerry, this should be an even, action fight. Action even match, these guys can't punch, they can't break an egg, but they throw a lot of punches, a lot of pressure, and very talented. You can see them with the movement. They got some skills, we're gonna see how they open up. They're gonna warm up a little bit here and free each other out. Hopefully we'll get a good fight again. Now, Guzman has a record which really more or less belies his talent. Six wins, 12 losses, one draw. He got he's, stopped five times. In those he's fights. lost his last two fights, but against undefeated fighters. Nice counter punch by Guzman there. A nice right hand, left hook. Johnny Hernandez, they call him Johnny Dez. He comes from right here in the Huntington area. A very popular fighter, very, I mean, kid is loaded with charisma. And he's one of the best conditioned young fighters, Jerry, I have seen in a long time. And very aggressive, really very aggressive. Right. Doesn't get tired and stays on your case, makes you work. This one's scheduled for six. So if you just look at the records alone, you think, what kind of fight could this be? 6 12 and 1 for Jose Guzman. And Guzman's a very confident fighter. He's not, he's not like a, he's lost 12 times, right. but he, he doesn't show it on his face in his movement. He's got some skills. And Johnny Dez, 6 and 1, lost a close decision a number of months back right here in this very ring. And afterwards, he said to me, Randy, I learned my lesson. I didn't listen to my corner the way I should have. Uh, Certainly, he always trains the way he should. You know, he's got a great trainer, uh, Hernandez in the corner, Dominic. He's a guy from, the, from uh, out of the country. He's been training here for a lot of years. He's from the very, Philippines, very works good out teacher. of Frankie G's gym. I like this matchup. It's a good matchup. Johnny Dez loves to get hey. underneath the arms of a taller opponent. And Guzman is taller. And when Johnny gets in close, he loves to well away at the body. And then Guzman's fainting with those hands, making it a little uncomfortable for Guzman to come in, but uh, for Hernandez to come in, but he's, uh, he's finding his way in. Hernandez has one knockout victory in his six wins as we close in on the end of round number one. He looks like such a strong kid. See, Jerry, that was one of those feeling out rounds. But knowing Johnny Dez, he loves to step on the gas. I expect more in round number two. You're watching Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rock and Fights 22. This is a lightweight bout. We'll have round number two after this.
and welcome back. Here is round number two. We were just checking in with Guzman's corner. I thought, Jerry, he actually had a, it, it was a feeling that round, but you got to give it to somebody. I don't like scoring even rounds. I gave it to Guzman. You did you? I, I felt Hernandez won that, uh, Hernandez won that round. Okay. Listen, uh, his guy's got 12 losses. I listened to his corner trying to tell him what punches to throw. Listen, this kid's going to do what he's going to do. He's, he's learned to survive all this long. And he's got to use that jab and keep up. He has a tendency to come in and drop his hands. Unless the other guy swing away, he's going to get in trouble with that. See, in the corner of Johnny Dez, nice. they said make nice right him hand. fight. Nice right hand by Mr. Hernandez. Guzman switching up, going southpaw, right-handing, right-handed, southpaw. Jerry, is that a good thing for a young fighter to not, do? Not if you get caught in the middle, but he's trying it out. He's trying to find a way to, to make the other guy have a hard time. And, you know, if he feels it, he'll stick with it. Maybe the corner's telling him something. We don't know. But the jab is going to help him all the time. He's got to keep him off balance with that left jab. And uh, he's not seeing it, not being able to do it this far. Nice over here, right? By Guzman. Johnny Dez should not be on the outside no, against the long arm Guzman. That's where he basically wants to be, on the inside, right on top of Guzman. And, and, and listen, Guzman's got a lot of experience. He's he's uh, he's taking advantage of it now. He's making it, he's making her in his miss. Okay, Jerry, if you were in the corner of, of Guzman, what would you be telling him to do? You gotta use the jab, straight jab, right hand down the pipe, aim for the chest. And nice uppercut, you can't throw yeah. the uppercut from the outside. And and listen, Hernandez comes, fires right back. See, and Guzman just switched up again. He's waking I the line. Marvin Hagler, one of the greatest switch hitters of all time, told me, you can't be switch hitting, you lose something. Well, he's, Hernandez is having his way right now, and he's having a great time. Oh, of it. yeah, that's where he wants to be, Jerry, with a guy pinned in the corner. Johnny Dez can be ruthless on the inside. And Guzman comes right back with a nice right hand and sticking that jab again. This one scheduled nice double for jab. six. Lightweight bout. Nice double jab, overhand right by Guzman. Nice jab by Hernandez. A swing and a miss with a wild hook by Guzman. With about 30 seconds remaining in the second round. And you know, you know, really, I don't like Guz Hernandez staying outside like that. He's got to get inside and fight. Absolutely. He's staying in, in the Guzman's comfort zone. That's what Guzman wants him to stay out there. Pot shot him. Final seconds. Nice round double number left two. Hook. Nice double left hook. Lightweight bout scheduled for six round. Johnny Hernandez, Jose Guzman. Okay, Jerry, in round two, the first round was a feeling out round, no question about it. This round, round two, was definitely a different round. Well, definitely. Hernandez came in, he threw great combination punches, kept him on the rope, banging him. But listen, I got to tell you, Guzman's staying in the game. Here he is banging on the, on, on the ropes. I don't like that. You got to grab a hold of your opponent and let the referee break you apart. You don't He's like that for Guzman? No. no, of course not. He's staying inside. You can't allow the guy to do that. Round number three, lightweight bout. Johnny Dez against Jose Guzman. Touching hands again, touching hands again. Bang it. Jerry, I see a lot of young fighters today always doing that. No, touching gloves at the start of the round. Not my guys. I don't like that. Listen, that guy's trying to take my bread and brother away. I, I'm not going to make friends with him after the fight, right. maybe. After the fight, I want to go over to him and say, hey, you know, sorry to have to have had hit you so many times and so hard. Right. But don't be friends with I had to beat you the like that. I'm sorry, but now I'm your friend. <laughs> nice Gordon. double jab by, by Guzman. Randy G, the commish, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney. And then this is firing back, but he's missing right now. <laughs> nice overhand right by Hernandez. There's about 1,800 people in the building, and I think so far Jerry Cooney has spoken to about 1600 of them. Uh -huh. still have about 200 more uh, people are great this night. is my hometown this is great nice triple left hook by hernandez and that's what guzman does not want to be on the inside he's got to move use the jab he it was winning one in the first round he's confusing 
Hernandez by using that jab, and now he's not doing it now. He's staying well, on the inside. Hernandez wasn't confused there. He landed an overhand right to the head, followed by a left hand. There's another left hand by Johnny. There's a swelling on the Hernandez's left eye. Well, that's because, Jerry, as you said, he's too much in Guzman's comfort zone on the outside. You're right. He's got to be inside. He's trying to box him. He's not, he's not tall enough to box him. He's got to be aggressive. He's got to punch. He's got to throw punches. Listen, Hernandez wins this fight by throwing a lot more punches. Just like that. Yeah. Doubles, left hand to the body. Nice double hook. One Another to the hook. head. One minute to go here in round number three. This one's scheduled for six. Johnny Dez is warned about the head, and Guzman held him behind the neck, pulling him in. Listen, Guzman lost six, 12 fights, but he's gained a lot of experience in those 12 losses to combat this young kid right here. And yes, they're I'm still talking nice to each other here. You're sure they're talking nice? And they are doing a little bit of talking in there. I'm not so sure that it's nice. 30 seconds to go. Johnny Dez lands one shot, then falls short with two others. He's following him, but he's got to cut the ring off and get inside and punch. Here we go. Nice hook by Hernandez. Left hook, right hand. Nice body shots. By Hernandez. Again, it's good fights, Randy. Great matchups. Seconds. And put round three in the box. Okay, Jerry, round number three. Take a look at the action. Again, the, the, listen, there we go. Hernandez is banging in, overhand right, coming back with the hook. Guzman's fighting back uh, right there. You can see Hernandez is getting the best of this fight. But, uh, you know, Guzman's using that jab, keeping him outside. He keeps it even. Round number four, underway. Johnny Dez in the black trunks. Jose Guzman in the uh, black, red, white, Puerto Rican flag. Oh, nice right hand by Hernandez. Another cut right hand. They're firing back now. They're fighting right now. Look at Guzman saying, come on. Roll with me. Hernandez is catching him. Getting a little rough in there. I think Johnny Dez was surprised by the bravado of Guzman. These, these are tough guys. These are tough guys. They make a living fighting. Now, what do you know about making a living fighting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice left hook right hand. Only for three Hernandez. of the... You fought... Three, your only three losses against guys who were in the Hall of Fame. Larry Holmes, Michael Spinks, and arguably one of the hardest punchers of all time. Oh, stop reminding Big me. Big George Foreman. <laughs> Jerry, who privately has told me that of all the guys he fought, and this, there is what... A low blow. A low blow. I was going to say, George Foreman said that you hit him harder than anybody. Uh -oh. But referee Pat Sullivan goes over and speaks to Guzman. He can give him up to a five-minute rest. He's letting him walk it off. He's smart. Smart. It okay, was low. Let's, it went let's south see. of the border for sure. And here we go. Nice south of the border. What? Yes, there was plenty low. And I Jerry, think obviously Guzman's looking for a break and get a little wind. That wasn't. It was pretty low. It, it was, was low. It was, on the, it was on the side of the cup. It could affect. I, I don't, up the middle, the one you hit Larry Holmes with when he pulled your head down, that was a low blow. Oh, right, right. It well, wasn't your fault. Like, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very much. Listen, this is Awoken Hernandez. He's fighting hard, he's fighting hard right now, which is a great thing. He needed to wake up, and maybe this uh, low blow is helping. Nice uppercut. And if indeed right, that Guzman. did hurt, Jerry, if that hurt Guzman, I wonder if it took anything out of him. Will his legs be a little bit gone? Will he be able to move the way he's been moving? Or was that a little bit of an act? It was, it was a little bit of both. These guys are con men. They're, they're looking for a break, get some air, you know, refresh themselves a little bit and fight back. And he's fighting, they're both fighting back. So it's a, it's a good thing. There he is again, switching up. He went southpaw, then he I don't, jumps I don't back to right-hander. What Hernandez is doing boxing. Southpaw again. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of baffled by it, unless in the gym uh, they, they've been trying to change his style, and I don't see it for nice Johnny Nice combination Depp. by Guzman. No, he's got to get on the inside and, and keep busy, throw punches. He's got good stamina, he's got to punch. Nice, and he's doing well. Nice body shots right now by Hernandez. The round is the being top. won right there by Johnny Dez on the rope. Because if it's close on the outside, it's right here where Johnny Dez is winning it. And this is not where Guzman wants to be. He's probably a little tired, he's taking a break, and he's paying for it. Five seconds remaining, round number four. Nice and you hook. can put this one in the books. We're heading to a break. Joke to Guardia Star Boxing. Welcome back to Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, Rock and Fights 22 from the Paramount Theater in Huntington, New York. I'm Randy G, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney. This is round number five of a lightweight bout between Johnny Dez in the black trunks and Jose Guzman in the Puerto Rican flag wrapped around. And Jerry, listen, I got, I got to say something. I have uh, Do that math. I got Hernandez ahead in this fight, but it's a, it's a pick em fight. This kid, uh, Guzman, is really fighting back. He's a smart kid. He's got a lot of experience, and he's uh, making it confusing. Okay, you and I, of course, are the unofficial scorers. I've got a 39-37, but Johnny Hernandez. But that just shows you, if I got a 39-37, you think, what if a judge has it just one point the other way? This is a draw here in the fifth round scheduled for six. Now, see here. Johnny Dez in the black trunks, the all black with the yellow uh, writing on it. And Jose Guzman in the Puerto Rican black. In the red, white, and blue Puerto Rican flag. And all that writing on there. I, I don't know what that's about. Pray, pray for Pritchard. Nice, nice combination there by Hernandez. Midway through round number five, scheduled for six in a lightweight bout. Johnny nice Hernandez at six and one in his career with one knockout. Six and 12 is Guzman. And if you just look at those records, this one is a mismatch. But right now, six and one against six and 12 is about as even as you can get. Nice uppercut by Guzman. Johnny got out of the way of those shots. That's, he's a good boxer. Great combination by Guzman. He's a good boxer, but he's a little bit under five foot five. He does not belong on the outside against the taller boxer. Johnny Dez is firing back. That's nice. where he belongs. That's where he belongs. And Jerry, we have gotten on the case of the New York State Athletic Commission about them enforcing you're not allowed to coach in the corner. They more or less have really relaxed on that rule. They have taken a lot of heat I about think it. They have, right? I was in the garden. I watched the fights. Yeah. And uh, they, they are backing off a little bit. Thankfully, I mean that was just one of the dumbest rules I have ever seen in my life. About 20 seconds remain in round number five, and it looks like we're going to be heading to a sixth and final round. Johnny Hernandez driven back to the ropes. And if this one is close, we could, damn it, well have an even fight here. Very close to even fight. 
final seconds. Round number five. This one is going to a six and final round. And Randy, I can tell you exactly what was going on in that blue corner. They're telling him he's got to win this round and win it big to get out of this fight with a victory. And I do agree with you. I mean, I thought that was a close round five, especially Guzman closed the gap late in the round, but I still had him losing the round. I got a 49-46 for Johnny Dez. And as far as Johnny Dez, you cannot take anything for granted. If I'm in his corner, I tell him on the outside, don't even get close to this guy. Don't let him reach you with that jab. And I want you putting on the pressure, rip his midsection out. Well, yeah, you see Dez is really firing back. He knows he wants to win. It's an important fight for him to get this victory. And he's in a tough fight. And he's doing what he's got to do. I don't like him outside so much. I like him being inside in the chest and banging those punches, stepping off to the right. But listen, it's all an experience for him to grow. Now, I don't know if Johnny Dez is not listening to his trainer, whether they're giving him wrong advice in the corner. And Guzman's saying, pounding his chest, saying, let's get it on. And they're getting it on, let me tell you. Johnny Dez got to force that action in close. Got to move those hands if he wants to win the fight. And Guzman, who's coming off a losing streak of a couple of fights, needs this round. Pushed apart by veteran referee Pat Sullivan. Under two minutes to go in the fight. And I'll tell you, Hernandez is just a little bit too busy. He's a little too busy for Guzman, and he's going to steal this fight. And Guzman holding on to the back of Johnny Dez's neck. He doesn't like it on the inside, and once again, he wraps up Johnny Dez. Will not let him fight on the inside. Now they mix it up on the inside. Johnny Dez steps back. Nice chair by Johnny Dez. Right Lead hand. Left. right hand. That was nice. Johnny does when he ducks a lot of times. You see that, that Joe Frazier, Bob, he's got to come back with punches. Guzman moving those hands. Johnny not doing that much on the inside a lot. Normally he's an all-action fighter. Nice right hand left took by Guzman again. Okay. Got less than one minute in the right in the fight. Jerry, if this round has been close up to two minutes. You got under one minute now. Let's see who could steal the round. Nice right hand by Johnny Dez. That one snapped the head of Guzman. Oh. Guzman has lost his last two fights. He has lost. He's lost seven of his last eight fights. This would be incredible if he could launch a real rally here and somehow win this fight. I don't think he's got enough to do it. Enough rounds in the bank, but what heart. He's landed some good shots in this last round, but I think Dez is really taking it to him most of the fight, most of the round. He's going to walk away with the right in the fight. And now Guzman drapes himself over Johnny Dez. Final seconds of the fight. You're going to hear that five-second wrap in a second. And there it is. Five seconds remain in the fight. And Johnny Dez is firing away. Final bell of this lightweight bout. Very entertaining. They respect each other. A big hug to the corners. Both fighters go to their respective corners. We'll be back with the decision here on Joe DeGuardia's Star Box and Rockin' Fights 28 in just a moment. Another exciting fight, Randy. Uh, listen, unfortunately, there's got to be a winner and a loser. Yep. And uh, it was a competitive fight again. I had a 59-55 for Johnny Dez, and I think you had it the same way. Pretty close. Let's find out how the judges had it. Let's go up to ring announcer, David Diamante.
Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at the Paramount, we go to the judges' scorecards. Tom Carasone scored the bout 60 to 54. Kevin Morgan and Tony Palillo both scored the bout 59 to 55. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. From Huntington, New York, Johnny the Hitman Hernandez. No surprise there in an entertaining bout. Johnny Hernandez wins a decision. And he's a great kid. He's a good kid. He's a hard worker. He's got to develop. He's got to pick up his talent a little bit more to find his way to stay inside. So it's all, he's doing a good job, a lot, very aggressive. He's got to find his way inside, make the guy uncomfortable. And that's what we got to get to for him. And he's got a, some great trainers. And hopefully through these experiences, he's going to be able to pick that up and Jose to get to the next level. Guzman lost to him. Jose now 6, 13, and 1. Johnny Hernandez now 7-1. and one. He's got one KO and a bright future in front of him. We'll be back with more of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing after this.